everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel thank you for stopping by today's video is going to be how to use the NYX eyebrow gel this here is super 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 affordable and it is also an essential for the summer because it is sweat proof humidity proof waterproof and budge proof so if you are interested in seeing how I apply this and a little mini review and demo on it then just stay tuned and keep on watching Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about it. The color that I have is EBG05, and it's or also known as black. So I have the darkest one. I thought this was ebony, but I guess it's not. Um, it is the darkest one. However, it doesn't look extremely black. It looks kind of like brownish. I'm not sure if you can really tell, but it's not exactly 100% black. It does say that it is waterproof, long-lasting, and smudge-proof. You get 0.34 fluid ounces in here, and it is a eyebrow gel. So I know that there is higher-end products like this, like I know Makeup Forever makes one like this, and it's supposed to be super, super, you know, awesome. I personally have never tried it, but this here, I've tried it many times. I've had it for a long while, a few months now, so I can go ahead and give you my honest review since I have worked with this product before. So let's go ahead and start on the pros. The pros are that it is long lasting, it is smudge proof, it is waterproof, it is humidity proof, sweat proof, it is an amazing, amazing product. It will not go anywhere. Once it dries, you can rub your face, you can rub your eyebrows, and it won't go anywhere. See? So this here I feel is an essential especially for the summertime. If you are going swimming, you need to get your hands on this, especially if you are the type of person that always has your eyebrows on because this won't go anywhere. If you have kids, they you know that they rub your face and everything. It will not budge or anything like that. So I am a huge fan of this and I love this to death. You can go swimming underwater. You can run a marathon in the freaking heat and your eyebrows will still be on point. I only have like one kind of flaw about it and it is that it dries super fast so you really do need to work fast with it and once you do get the hang of it it really won't bother you at all you will actually start liking that it um, dries a little bit faster but if you are a beginner just practice with it and you'll grow to love it as well so I want to go ahead and show you the lasting of it this is like the little swatches and like when I cleaned it off. I don't recommend putting it on your hand because it is super hard to get off. I recommend using like a palette or something. For the purpose of this video, I wanted to show you, you know, exactly how it how it is, you know. So this part right here is already dry. So as you see, like I'm like rubbing my hand on it, like and I'm like rubbing it. Like okay, so I am dabbing. There's no transfer. Again, I'm wiping, it's not moving. This is a makeup remover cloth, not moving, still not moving. Now it's starting to go ahead and like peel apart and you know, rub the sucker. Oh, now it's off. So as you can tell, this is an amazing, amazing product for this type of weather. For those people who really want those eyebrows to freaking stay. And the good thing about it is depending on how much product you use, you can make your eyebrows look more natural, more defined, or more dramatic, depending on your preference. So overall, I really do like this product. Like I said, whenever you first get your hands on it, it is something that you do have to work with. If you already are familiar with pomades and stuff like that, this here won't be that hard of a transition just because you're already used to working with an angled brush, you're used to blending out your product, you're used to lining and drawing in your eyebrows to your preference. It's just working with something that's a little bit more liquidy and dries a little bit faster on the eyebrows. Now a couple tips for you is whenever you do apply this, I recommend dipping your brush in it, wiping off the sides before applying it to your eyebrows. If you do mess up, wipe it away right away or you can leave it and finish your eyebrow and then just go back in with an oil based makeup remover and a q-tip and it will go ahead and come right off. 
Um, I really don't have anything bad to say about this. I really don't. Um, other than it may be a little bit harder for beginners, but once you get used to it, trust me, you will fall in love. So as you can see, I do have it on my eyebrows right now. This is the color that it is. I got it in black, which is the darkest one, but it's not like extremely, extremely black. It's kind of you can tell that there's a little bit of brown base in there. If you want to go ahead and see how I apply it and how I fill in my eyebrows like this with the NYX eyebrow gel, then just stay tuned. It will come up right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just squeeze a little bit on the back of my hand. I don't normally recommend putting this on the back of your hand and just like brush through the eyebrows. Now start by picking up just like the tiniest amount so I'm gonna go ahead and dab my brush in there once and wipe off the sides of the brush okay you're gonna want to work pretty fast with this so I'm gonna first start off by drawing the baseline like I normally would and as the product runs out I'm gonna go ahead and come in more if I need more product, I just go to where I wiped it off on the side, dab it in there, and then I'll go ahead and lightly start back where I needed it. Once I have that initial line, I work my way up with little strokes. And this is going to help keep it looking more natural than drawing a line directly on top and filling it in. So as you can see, I have the initial part down. I'm just going to brush through and get rid of any harshness. And again, whenever you need product, just dip into it and wipe off any excess. You always want to start off with a lighter hand towards the front of the brow. And you can be a little bit more harsh towards the end. Okay, once I get a bit in like about this area right here, I'm just going to tilt my brush up and just start going in and creating my shape. Then just brush through anything that may be needed. Brushing through is also going to help move and blend out your product a lot better. So that's it. That's how I do it. Now whatever you do after this is completely up to you. You can add concealer. You can add eye primer to clean up the bottom. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with an eyebrow gel. This stuff really does the work with holding your eyebrow, gel, your eyebrow hairs. But... I'm just going to make sure that everything is nice and tamed because I have those crazy eyebrow hairs. So I'm just going to set it really quick. So that was it with this super quick mini review and demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it and see how it is that you can go ahead and fill your eyebrows in with this kind of product. And it kind of gives you a little sneak peek into how I fill in my eyebrows as well. I do use the same method with pomade as I do with the NYX eyebrow gel. So like I said, if you are familiar with pomade, this right here will be a great transition for you. I believe this retails for about five dollars i got it at ulta and it has lasted me forever as you can see from the demo a little bit really does go a long way okay guys so i hope i covered the bases i hope i answered any questions you guys may have had with this product but of course if you have any other questions please leave them in the comments below and i'll get back to you as fast as i can also don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to see two to three videos every week again if you have any recommendations leave them in the comments below and i'll definitely get right on and with that being said you guys i will see you guys in my next video Bye.